okay so in this video we will be uh, trying to explain or trying to find out no uh, the reason no? or the explanation on the identity no? the very common trigonometric identity no? the sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1 okay so we're trying to derive this identity no so this identity is also known as the pythagorean identity no okay so that uh, name alone will give you a clue that this identity comes from the pythagorean theorem okay so we will start no on the pythagorean theorem okay so for example we have a triangle no? okay so we have a triangle right triangle to be exact okay so for example this will be our hypotenuse c this is our opposite uh, side a this is b so uh, i say this is our opposite side so the, this will be our angle no? theta okay so the pythagorean theorem um uh, bis, uh, bis basically states no, that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square uh, the sum of the square of the legs no so if you are going to have that one in an equation form so you can have that one as a squared no plus b squared is equal to c squared okay now if we are going to get the cosine no, of our angle theta for example cosine uh, maybe we start with sine no? sine okay sine theta okay so sine theta here is equal to the adjacent at uh, the opposite side no opposite side which is for our angle theta is a over the hypotenuse okay now if we are going to solve for a no so we just multiply both sides of our um, equation here uh, with c so we'll have c sine theta is equal to a then for cosine no for example cosine of our angle theta so cosine theta is equal to the adjacent side which is b over c now then multiply both sides of the equation with c so we will have c cosine theta is equal to b okay so we are going to substitute no the value of our a and our b in terms of the sine and the cosine of the angle in this pythagorean theorem or the equation of our pythagorean theorem so for a so a here is equal to c sine theta so we have c sine theta squared plus for b that is c cosine theta squared so this will be equal to c squared so we just substitute the value of our a and our b no so let's square this one so we have c squared this will be sine squared theta plus c squared cosine squared theta is equal to c squared okay so we just factor out here c squared so we will have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to c squared then we uh, divide both sides no of our equation with z squared c c squared no so this will be cancelled out this will be equal to one this will be also equal to one so we have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. So we have derived now the Pythagorean identity. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. Okay? So I hope you understand something in this video. And as always, have fun learning.